Hi guys, here is Vera. Today's video is super, super fast. I wanted to show you two essential gestures for the iPad version of Affinity Designer that I absolutely cannot, cannot live without. So let's get started. I have a few elements here, this banana, this avocado and this radish. And say I wanted to create a repeat pattern like this one, super, super fast, by duplicating some of those objects. One way to create a copy would be to select what you would like to copy and then to go to the three dots menu and to hit duplicate. But I find that it's a lot of, um, you know, clicking here and there. And there's a much better gesture for that. So what I would do is I would select the object that I want to copy, like this banana, and then I would use the two fingers on the screen hold to create copy. So as long as I have those two fingers, uh, on the screen and I keep lifting off my Apple Pencil every time I move my object, I will be creating super, super fast copies of this object. I use this gesture all the time, super, super handy, and I cannot imagine creating repeat patterns without it. So I think it was only half a minute and I created a lot of copies and I would be ready now to make a pattern out of it. And now my second essential gesture that also includes two fingers is selecting multiple layers at a time with a two fingers uh, tap on the layers panel. So one option to select all those uh, layers with the bananas, with the avocado and with the radish would be to swipe with each and one of them individually. But a much better gesture would be to select, for example, this first layer and to use two fingers, tap it on the last layer and to select everything simultaneously with just one tap with two fingers. I use this gesture all the time because whenever I build very detailed patterns, I end up with a lot of layers and I need really good organization. So I keep creating copies and then I keep uh, grouping them pretty much all the time. So those were my two essential gestures for the iPad version of Affinity Designer that I absolutely cannot live without. Um, you can also leave a comment in the comment section below to let me know if you have known those gestures and if you use them yourself, or maybe tell me about your most favorite gestures for the iPad version of Affinity Designer. So I'll see you in the comment section. Bye bye.